Hello and welcome to this fourth video on the topic of operation research and in this video we will look at the computational details of the simplex algorithm or in simple words we will study how to solve an LP with the help of a simplex method and what are the steps involved and why uh, are those steps there and what is the significance of each step as we go discussing the algorithm now consider the LP given in front of you on the slide uh, this is quite a familiar LP now because we have been using this uh, since we started doing the LP model now this is the LP which is clearly asking us to maximize the objective function given the constraints below the first step is to convert the inequality into equality so the constraints would now become 6x1 plus 4x2 I will be adding one sub, uh, slack variable making it equal 24 x1 plus 2x2 one more slack variable makes it equal to 6 minus x1 plus x2 plus s3 makes it equal to 1 x2 plus s4 makes it equal to 2 okay now I st straight away started applying the uh, simplex method because the two conditions that we discussed in the previous video are being satisfied these are non-negative and these are also non-negative so we can straight away go ahead and apply the simplex method now we have completed converting the inequality into an equality now the variables have increased from 2 to 4 or to 6 so now we have 6 variables and all of them are greater than or equal to 0 now the objective function now changes to this you already had 5x1 plus 4x2 but now there are many variables apart from x1 x2 but they have no contribution to make in the objective function so their contribution is zero they are not contributing anything but we are just writing it so that uh, we follow the standard uh, notation for an LP model now so we have converted it into uh, an equality form now the thing is we have to rewrite we have to rewrite the objective function as uh, objective function was nothing but 5x1 plus 4x2 I need to write it down as z minus 5x1 minus 4x2 is equal to 0 okay so this is the way you will be writing down your objective function now in this we know that we always start at in the origin so my non basic variables as I discussed in the previous video my non basic variables would be x1 x2 and my basic variables my basic variables would then become s1 comma s2 s3 and s4 so these are your variable definitions now you will be starting with the basic variables and then we'll go about how to do it now see after re rewriting your objective function and defining your non basic and basic variables we will now make a simplex table now how do you make a simplex table this is how you make a simplex table this is the basic variable uh, column so basic you will write z over here and then you will write s1 s2 s3 s4 okay then we will write z over here x1 all the variables in the objective function will come here s2 s3 and s4 and at the end you will get or you will have to write solution okay now we'll make the lines 
okay so these are your lines which give it the look of a table okay let me draw them so it becomes easy for us to look at them okay so these are your table values now in this row I will write down in this row I will write down the coefficients as per this objective function so the coefficient of z is 1 coefficient of x1 is minus 5 then minus 4 okay and the rest all are 0 okay so when you are starting with uh, the solution you always start with non basic variables putting them equal to 0 so the solution is also 0 okay because you started x1 x2 equal to 0 so in that case z will also be 0 now here you will write 0 all through and now these will be the coefficients of your constraint functions okay so I will write down 6 over here uh, there is one line missing here I need to draw one more line just a minute I will be dropping this and I will be drawing one more line over here this is one more line okay now so this is also 0 and this is also 0 so now let me write down the coefficients of the constraints 1 0 0 0 and the right hand side will come here this is 24 then 1 2 there's no s1 in the second constraint 0 1 0 0 and then you have 6 and uh, this would be minus 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 the last one 0 1 0 0 0 1 and then 2 so this is known as your simplex table a table made to solve an LP by simplex method 